hair transplant is uh, basically moving hair from one area of the skin or body to the other. Uh, in order to do that, the first step that we do in our office is we design the hairline. If there's any hairline involved, we have to design it ahead of time so we know where to put hair, what is the distribution of the hair, and what are the densities of each areas. After that, we take the patient to the procedure room and we start with trimming or shaving if need be. The next step is uh, local anesthesia, sometimes sedation, sometimes just local anesthesia. Patients may feel a little bit of a pinching here and there, and after that, everything is numb. What we usually do is a ring block, which is blocking around the scalp so both donor and recipient area are going to be numb at the same time. After local anesthesia, we're going to move on to making sites. So we design the small holes or incisions that grafts will be placed into. So that's probably the most artistic part of the procedure is where the physician makes small incisions that eventually the surgical team will fill it with the grafts that are harvested. After site making, we change patient's position and start extracting the grafts. So extraction of the grafts done by the hair transplant surgeon, and we have to remove hair one at a time. The team of technician will help the surgeon to collect the extracted grafts or excised grafts. They collect them, prepare them under microscope, look at them, make sure they're all intact, and then deliver them to the placing team that are placing the grafts, sometimes as the grafts are being harvested. So the next step is when we place the grafts into the pre-made sites. That could be done by special forceps or special implanters or inserters that insert the grafts into the pre-made sites. At the end of the procedure, the surgeon usually do the overall inspection, make sure all the gaps are filled, make sure every hair is pointing to the right direction, even the curvature of hair will be adjusted, and then we put a bandage around the patient's scalp if need be, and patient will be released from the procedure.